No gold bolts or anything? I did not jump, by the way. It automatically got me onto the second one. Then. Don't ask me where I'm going. Because I have no idea. giving me a map. This place is too big. off somehow. Bring it on. Whee! What the hell? Some big fat leaking lizard back there. HR.
que... Hey there, congratulations on unlocking the behind the scenes video for Ratchet and Clank and Crack in Time. My name is Brian Bernal, I'm the project manager, and we're gonna take you around the office now and try to answer the question, who is the Agorian warrior? <laughs> When we first set out to, to create all the different factions in our CF2, we decided that we wanted it to be, in a lot of ways, uh, almost like a version of high school. You have the terachnoids who are kind of the geeky IT guys that kind of sit off in their own little table in the cafeteria. Do we know any girls? Who needs girls when you have pizza and a VG9800 game system? And then you've got the cool guys, the Agorians, who are like the jocks who are always angry and, and uh, bumping each other's chests and, uh, and just, you know, downing energy bars. They've been around for 3,000 years, um, as other races have reported them to be known, and they haven't evolved at all. All they do is fight. That's all they've ever done. I think the best description I heard of that was, they live, they have, a, you know, they're honorable, they have a sense of honor and a code, but they just keep rewriting it. You will pay for your incompetence with your lives. We realize that every time you wish death upon us, it is because you care. You know, me and Brian Algar, we wrote up a whole, uh, a whole character breakdown of all like, the character traits that we wanted. And we wanted them to be very honorable creatures, and we wanted to have this, this code of ethics that always kept changing. And then you know, we, we took that and we showed it to the artists, and we had Greg Baldwin and Dave Gurton uh, start sketching different things up. They came back at us with some, with some really funny stuff, and, and uh, that's when it got sent over to the animator. So, so we, we, we tried to give it like, enough of an outline where everyone had a, a large canvas to work from, but we still wanted to leave a lot of room for people to put their own stamp on it. So at Insomniac, when we start designing an enemy, we start creating these rough sketches and diagrams. We'll typically use uh, a program like Illustrator where we can kind of create our little maps, create diagrams of what the characters might look like. And so with the Agorians, we wanted to have different uh, ranges of combat um, because we knew at that point the player would have a lot of weapons. It'd have like a sniper rifle style weapon and some mid-range weapons and short range. So that's how we designed the enemies. Here we got in the front, we've got these uh, more mid-range bombers. We've got the, uh, the melee guys that are gonna run up close into battle. And then of course we've got the guys that ride the beasts in the background. And these were, you know, obviously the generals, they were the leaders of the group that the players had to hunt down. Usually for us, it's, it's good enough just to have a, a drawing that really 